here's what we got. Here's what we got. So, if you guys haven't seen what happened, Tucker Carlson, thank God I said it right again, Tucker Carlson made an appearance on the Full Send podcast. The Full Send podcast is an offshoot of the Nelk Boys. So this is just like, instead of doing like the Nelk Boys podcast or something like that, it's simply just called the Full Send podcast. Um, they, they've had some massive people appear on the Full Send podcast. Like, I'm not getting mad. Like, Elon Musk, massive. They've had... Um, oj simpson they had oj simpson on the podcast elon musk like some massive people that like almost like joe rogan levels of guests that they've had on the podcast and it's pretty fucking impressive because they haven't been doing it that long anyways they just have really good connections uh so this is tucker carlson shares some bizarre tales of troops dying from ufo encounters when i say bizarre tales like i 100 percent mean bizarre tales so during an appearance on the Full, Full Send podcast, Fox News' Tucker Carlson recalled a recent discussion with Stanford professor who 11 years ago was allegedly tasked by the Defense Department to investigate numerous cases of troops dying due to UFO-inflicted brain injuries. So what he actually said, what Tucker Carlson said on the podcast was that he was contacted by a Stanford University professor who's tenured, right, so he's not Joe Blow, you know, community college level professor, or whatever, who used to do professing, <laughs> who used to do professor, whatever, who used to do the job like 20 years ago or something like that. He's not a schmuck. He's not a, you know, a quack. He's not any of that. Like the dude's still working. According to Tucker Carlson, the dude's still working in Stanford University, tenured professor, I believe biomedical, biomedical professor that specializes in, in uh, the investigations of brain trauma and all that kind of stuff. So that's who contacted him. And he said the polarizing host of the Tucker, Carl Tucker Carlson tonight, I don't know why it always trips me up, shared his source who claimed to have expertise in traumatic brain injury, studied the brains of more than 100 troops who died following such encounters. The professor also told Carlson that there are dozens of open court cases that support his claims. I don't know about you guys. I have never, ever heard that information before ever 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 no, i've never heard that story nobody's ever i've never seen any court cases to suggest that this is the case so when he dropped this information it was like the biggest mind-blowing thing about this whole like alien stuff that's been very popular over recent years especially with the government and all that kind of stuff insane and then he goes on to say, and this is a quote from the podcast, in a number of cases that these things have landed on military bases. So he's talking about the UFOs, right? He said that they, Tucker Carlson said, according to this professor, that the UFOs landed on the military base, right? <laughs> and then U.S. soldiers approached the UFO and just, bam, dropped dead with like crazy brain injuries, Right? approach them and then they get traumatic brain injuries or they're killed carlson said on the podcast i'm like why isn't this on the front page of the new york times i don't know we got a call from this guy who's a is this tenured stanford medical school professor he comes on and he's like 11 years ago the u.s government reached out to me because i'm an expert on head injuries on brain injuries traumatic brain injuries and they had all these court cases from families of u.s servicemen over 100 who'd been killed by UFOs. The Department of Defense was refusing to give them death benefits or medical benefits. And he's like, so they're in the courts. And I was like, there are over a hundred servicemen killed by UFOs? Like what? He's like, yeah. And there are court cases about it. I'm like, why isn't this on the front page of the New York Times? I don't know. And in a number of cases, these things have landed on military bases, including famously in Germany, in West Germany in the seventies. And servicemen have approached them and they yep. approach and they get traumatic brain injury or they're killed. And he studied their brains. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. That is that is absolutely crazy. So from the 70s, 80s, 90s, etc., over a hundred US servicemen. There's open court cases, like as we speak. And according to that university professor, they hired they hired that university professor to investigate the brain, the defense department brought on as like, I guess, an expert witness or something like that to 
investigate the brain trauma. Now, what's not in this article and what's in the podcast, and if you guys want to go take a look at the Full Send podcast with Tucker Carlson, there's more on it. But what he says is that the, the, the Stanford University professor, the tenured, not a quack, not a schmuck, he said he's never seen brain injuries like this before. And that whatever whatever was the energy source or whatever caused the the brain injury was just simply not of this world because it didn't look like anything he's ever seen before. Anyways, so then the U.S. military, meanwhile, is having no part of the particular UFO discussion. This story is false. Susan Gu, a Defense Department spokesperson, told Military Times the Pentagon declined to comment further. UFOs have become a hot-button topic among military officials in recent months. In fact, last week, the head of the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office drafted a report suggesting alien vessels could indeed be sending out search probes throughout our solar system. We talked about this story last week. We read an article about this, and we made a video on it. But anyways, an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its closest yeah we talked all about this anyways we talked all about this so the 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 fucking the crazy bit you gotta call is this bit this is like this is so wild again sure defense department said this is a false story okay provide some fucking evidence you know what i mean if there's <laughs> if there's some open court cases show them man you know what i mean show or show the non-existence of these open court cases the stanford university professor should 100 percent come forward and show whatever sort of like because it's not secret show whatever public information that you're available to show or that you can show if it's closed cases and they're in the public domain show them show them show like whatever the fuck this is because this is wild uh, over 100 u.s servicemen have died in regards to like coming into contact with ufos on u.s military bases from the 70s 80s 90s and onwards that's wild claim super wild claim anyways what we typically do at the end of these ufo discussions is i give my opinions on what these three things could be either you know it's all bullshit <laughs> either it's all bullshit and none of this is true and none of this has happened ever, which is why I'm saying the Stanford, whoever Tucker Carlson is talking about, the Stanford University professor, he should go out and show whatever evidence he has. Great. Then Tucker Carlson should investigate a little bit more and put this on his show, maybe make a video or something about it, because that would also be great. The Pentagon should come out and the Defense Department should come out because these are crazy accusations should come out and suggest whether they like prove give provide evidence, excuse me, provide evidence of whether this is false or not and whether this is true or not. Or there's any substantiating factors to any of this. Or on the other hand, this could just be another breadcrumb in the long trail of the UFO saga that we've been seeing over the last couple of years about like the government giving out little breadcrumbs here and there. That could also be what the case is is and that something bigger is down the line or on the longer flip side of all of that what the case might be is that this is all just one big distraction <laughs> that's a little bit more fucking uh that's a little bit more conspiracy rabbit hole i mean this whole thing is conspiracy rabbit hole but this thing in particular like you know it might be a distraction for something bigger that's going on you know what i mean but tucker carlson on the full send podcast it, it like it, I don't know. Maybe it is all contrived. Maybe it is all contrived for like a who knows cover up or distraction for something else. But man, like that is some wild shit that I've never heard about. And what I'll leave you guys with this: what Tucker Carlson also said, because I know you guys love the UFO and alien shit. What he said, according to everything that Tucker Carlson has seen, according to him, Tucker Carlson said that in all the videos and all the information that he's been privy to that he thinks that these UFOs that he thinks they don't come from outside our galaxy or sorry outside our solar system whatever he don't he doesn't think that they're coming from out there he thinks that they're coming from under the water <laughs> he thinks they're coming from under the fucking water like in our oceans I don't know why I'm saying war water <laughs> but he thinks they're coming from the water bro yeah so he doesn't think they're aliens. He thinks they're coming from underneath the oceans. And that's what they're coming up of. Specifically because of the way that they, they're they able to travel into water, out of water, and in water. So in, out, and like within the water. That's like, you know, something that he thinks, you know, these things must be coming from the fucking oceans because nothing else makes sense. Anyways. That's